Hello friends. Today we are going to see the topic production of monoclonal antibodies by hybridoma technology. Hybridoma technology is a technology of forming hybrid cell lines. A cultured cells of two different cell types or from two different species can be fused to produce somatic cell hybrids with diploid genome of both cell lines. The rate of fusion can be greatly increased by using certain viruses and chemicals. The hybridoma technology was discovered by George Kohler and Caesar Milstein in 1975. Monoclonal antibodies are antibodies of only one type or homogeneous immunoglobulins of defined specificity. Monoclonal antibodies are being synthesized by popular hybridoma technology. Here, the hybridoma cells are formed by the fusion of two different types of cells. One, the antibody producing B lymphocytes from the spleen of mouse immunized with specific antigen. And second, the myeloma cells from human or rabbit which are capable of indefinite multiplication. Thus, the hybridoma cells will have the antibody producing capability inherited from B lymphocytes and also ability to grow continuously inherited from myeloma or tumor cells. Method The first step is to immunize animal by injecting an appropriate antigen. Antibodies are produced by B lymphocytes. B lymphocytes are isolated from the spleen of an animal which has been immunized with the antigen against which monoclonal antibodies are to be raised. For this, a laboratory animals are first exposed to an antigen against which we are interested in isolating an antibody. Usually, this is done by a series of injections of the antigen in caution over the course of several weeks. The second step is to isolate spleen cells. These splenocytes containing antibody producing B lymphocytes for particular antigen are isolated from the animal's spleen and are made deficient in TK gene. The third step is to fuse spleen cells with myeloma cells. These isolated splenocytes are fused with immortalized myeloma cells in the presence of inactivated syndivirus or polyethylene glycol to promote cell fusion. This treatment is brief that is about 1 minute to avoid cell death. The myeloma cells are selected here beforehand to ensure that they are not secreting any antibody themselves and they lack the hypoxanthine guanine phosphoribosyl transferase gene making them sensitive to the head medium. The fourth step is that few cells are incubated on head medium. After the fusion treatment, all the three cells that is B cells, myeloma cells and hybrid cells are washed suspended in complete medium, incubated overnight and are then plated on a selective medium called head medium which allows multiplication of only hybrid cells. The head medium is supplemented with hypoxanthine, aminopterin and thymidine, hence the name head. For using head medium as a selective agent, mouse cells taken for fusion must be deficient for either SGPRT or TK enzyme, while myeloma cells must be deficient for the other enzyme of this pair. Thus, one may fuse SGPRT deficient myeloma cells with TK deficient mouse cells. On a head medium, only those cells that have active SGPRT and TK enzyme 
can proliferate while those deficient in these enzymes cannot divide since they cannot produce purines and pyrimidines due to aminopterin present in the head medium the hybrid cells will be sgprt and tk positive so these will multiply on head medium while only b lymphocytes and myeloma cells will fail to do so aminopterin present in the medium blocks the salvage pathway that allows for nucleotide synthesis hence unfused myeloma cells die as they cannot produce nucleotides by de novo or salvage pathways because they lack sgprt at the same time unfused b cells die as they have a short life span in contrast only the b cell myeloma hybrids will survive since the sgprt gene coming from b cells and tk gene coming from myeloma cells is functional the resulting hybrid cells are having both the properties of parent cells to produce antibodies and are immortal this incubated medium is then diluted into a multi well plates to such an extent that each well contains only one cell since the antibodies in a well are produced by the same b cell they will be directed towards the same epitope and others monoclonal antibodies the hybridoma culture supernatant secondary enzyme labeled conjugate and chromogenic substrate are then incubated and the formation of colored product indicates positive hybridoma alternatively immunocytochemical screening can also be used once a hybridoma colony is established it is multiplied either in vitro or in vivo to obtain monoclonal antibodies monoclonal antibodies are used in numerous procedures like the identification of blood groups diagnosis of disease in vaccine production and immune therapy etc hope you understood the topic very well thank you